two main technologies with new date-time capabilities that have been introduced in FME 2017 to make working with dates and times a lot easier than they have been previously. In this example here we're going to look at some planning data that includes times stamps for when the planning application was submitted and when the actual site went operational. And what we want to do is actually summarise this data and then just report it out as an Excel spreadsheet. So to do this we can use the existing date formatter transformer to ensure that all our dates are in the correct format for when we want to process them. In this example I'm going to choose my operational date and also then when the planning dates were submitted and granted I'm going to let FME work out what the existing date format is and I'm going to bring everything together in the FME date time format. I'm then going to use the new date time calculator transformer to actually work out the difference between when the planning application was initially submitted to when the site went operational. So in this case I'm just going to calculate the interval between two date times. My start date is going to be when the planning application was submitted. My end date is when it's going to be operational. I'm going to leave this with this ISO duration and then change it here down to days so we'll actually know the number of days between when they were submitted. I'm then going to create a new attribute with this information in that will show me that build time and I can do all this within the transformer but I can now also use that capability within things like the attribute manager. So I can cr create new attributes based on date time calculations as well. So in this case I'm going to create a new attribute called days operational and I'm going to then use the new date time capabilities within the time editor to work out how long these particular sites have been operational since they've been some, um, come online. So to do that I'm going to look at the date time difference function and I'm going to take date time now but to ensure it's in the correct format what I'm first going to do is ensure that it's casted into the correct format for FME to use. So I'm going to have the date time cast followed with date time now I want this to be a date string. I'm then going to take my end date here as being when it became operational and I want to have everything come back as days. So the last element of this function is just to tell it the format as we did before in the transformer. So in this case it's now going to take a nicely formatted current date when the actual site went operational and then return me the difference within this in days. So I can click on OK OK again. And we've already pre-built a lot of the existing output part of this transformer but I'm just going to run some basic statistics to calculate the date and time the differences as a summary based on the technology type for the particular data set we're using. I'm then rounding them up just to make the numbers nice and tidy and then sorting them so that the largest number sits at the top so when we look at the output which is going to be in Excel it's just nicely sorted. So to run this transformation as we can see the data will flow through, gets calculated in the statistics calculator and passes through. If we open up the output we should end up with an Excel spreadsheet with the two tabs with the data nicely sorted showing us that actually photovoltaics are a relatively recent operation so there's very few of those have been operating for an extended period of time um, where things like hydro and biomass have been clearly operating for an awful long periods of time and with build time we can start to see the average length from planning application right the way through to operations. So if you'd like to play around with this more please feel free to download the template from our website. Thank you.